Okay, we have uh, Senior Center Ty Howell with us. Again, please raise your hand. We'll bring a microphone to you. Ty, Bill just said you're a nasty offensive lineman. What makes you a nasty offensive lineman? They told me out there I was probably going to get that question from one of you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I think it's the way I play the game. You know, I, I really love the game of football. It's something that's, you know, always been fun and been good to me. And, uh, you know, it's something that I really enjoy doing. I'm just always hustling and getting after it every play, you know, trying to play into the whistle. And, uh, you know, I think that's what he meant by that, I guess. Syracuse was stacking the box a good bit, loading up to try to stop the run. When a team does that, is there a way to be successful running? I mean, is there is, is there much you can do when they're when they've got the a couple man advantage on the block? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we went back and watched the film, and uh, you know, I, I thought we executed pretty well. Um, you know, there's a little a few little mistakes we got to clean up here and there. You know, um, going into this week, but you know, there is things you can do, and I mean, I, you know, stats don't tell the whole uh, side of the, our running game. You know, there. Uh, a lot of times there were, uh, you know, we got five guys, six guys, seven guys, depending on what formation we're in, to block these guys, and they got more than us. You know, it's simple math. You know, sometimes it's tough, but you know, um, I think our running backs did a good job making people, you know, miss and running over guys. So I mean, you know. Ty, are there any uh, NFL offensive linemen that you watch in particular or try to model your game after? Um, you know, growing up, I always watched uh, Jeff Saturday. When he was um, playing for the Colts, and then also, you know, when I was coming here and being recruited here, uh, A.Q. Shipley, um, two guys that are kind of like me, you know, shorter guys, natural leverage, um, and, and two really, really good centers. So, guys, I kind of look up to and try to model my game after. Hey, uh, Ty, I know it's only been uh, one game, um, but I was wondering, like, in the huddle, are are there any particular guys who are really vocal or anything like that in the huddle, like maybe like? Spur the team on or whatever? Um, you know, in our offense huddle, you know, Coach O'Brien teaches, you know, there's one guy talking, and that's the quarterback. You know, he's, he's the commander back there. And, uh, you know, so really, you know, it's everybody just listening to him. It's not really, you know, it's not really a time for, you know, rah rah or pep, pep talks, you know, while he's trying to get the play. So, I mean, you know, so that's kind of how that goes. You know, it's, it's all, uh, you know, hack or, you know, uh, talking in the huddle. Ty Allen Robinson hit you with a pretty good block. Uh, I wonder how that went over in the film room, given the senses of humor that that some of you guys have. Oh yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, there was a big laugh about that one. You know, I thought I was running pretty fast trying to get that feel for him, but obviously not fast enough. And uh, yeah, I didn't see that one coming. That's for sure. Ty, you mentioned the mismatch along the line. What can you guys do over here in front of you? What can you guys do to, if you see that again, if it worked last week? You see that again, what can you do to, to counteract that? You know, obviously we watched the film where we made those uh, corrections, you know. Um, you know, we, we, we can check the different plays, you know, we can, you know, there's a number of things we can do, and, and Coach O'Brien and Coach Mack went through those things with us uh, um, uh, Monday after watching this film, so I think we'll be ready for it. Did you check a lot on Saturday? Um, I mean, I don't know what you classify as a lot. I mean, you know, we, we you know, as much as we needed to. Uh, Ty, uh, a lot of you guys said on Saturday that, that Christian was, was pretty calm back there. I'm just curious, you know, what you saw from him specifically that let you know that, you know, he had gotten the nerves out of the way and, and how he was in the huddle with you guys. Um, you know, how, he, he, he was a confident guy. You know, you can just tell by the way somebody speaks, by the way they talk, you know, they're very, if, if, if somebody's confident, you know, they're very to the point, punctual, and, and, and that's the way he was. You know, he uh, called, he called the... Uh, you know, he's calling out mics and all that stuff. I mean, and he was demonstrative with it, and, and you know that was impressive, and, and that let us know, you know, the kid was ready, and you know he's, you know, he's been coached by Coach O'Brien, Coach Fisher, you know, for however many months he's been here now. I mean, he was ready. So, talk, talk, talk about uh, you know, the excitement to come home, and you guys open on the road and now, get a chance to get back in into Beaver Stadium. Oh, yeah, we're, I mean, all the guys are excited. You know, this is the best place to play in college football for sure. And, uh, you know, coming back, you know, our fans traveled well this last week, and, and we can only imagine how great it's going to be this week with, uh, you know, 108,000 know, screaming fans here behind us. And uh, I think that's something everybody's looking forward to and excited about this week.
You're part of the whole field goal unit there. What's it been like to see Sam Ficken become what he's become at, after the difficult times last year? Um, you know, it's been great seeing a kid that's, you know, he, he's a good guy, you know, and, and he's worked his tail off. I'll tell you what, you know, he uh, was putting in the time this summer and, and even last season, you know, when things were going away, he, he, he still, you know, was putting in the time, putting in the effort. You know, he, I never saw the kid hang his head and really dwell on anything. He was always worried about getting better. And, uh, you know, to his credit, you know, he's, he's kicking the ball really well right now. Tom? To follow up on that question, uh, Sam obviously has much more reason to be confident this season. Have you seen change his demeanor overall? No, I mean, Sam, he's a confident kid, you know, even, you know, after, you know, having things not go his way last season, you know, having a tough, you know, couple games there, he, he still was focused and confident. And, you know, I think our team was confident in him that he could still kick the ball. I mean, um, you know, so I don't think anything's really changed. You know, he's just having more success and people are seeing that. It's not you know, really any changes with them. Playing uh, no huddle or NASCAR or whatever it is, uh, the fast style, uh, on a hot day like that, the first day of the season, I mean, people talk about the defense being tired, that's, that's the thing. Of, do you guys, do you enjoy playing that way? It's like you got to score faster and get off the field maybe, uh, or do you embrace it? Yeah, I think, I think that's something, you know, we as offense have come to enjoy and come to kind of pride ourselves in, you know, being able to move fast and, you know, it's something that we talked about all summer working out with about Coach Fitz and, and, and all the strength staff is really being able to play fast and wear down other teams with the, the how fast we were playing. And um, I think we kind of pride ourselves. We, we do that every day in practice, trying to make sure we're getting getting plays going and, and you know, and, and being successful at the same time. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter how many plays you can run if they're not, you know, picking up first downs or touchdowns and like that if you're not moving the ball. So we really – you know, pride ourselves in our NASCAR offense. We were asking Coach O'Brien earlier some of the things that went wrong in the game with some turnovers and one for 16 on third down, and he sent it back to, well, we won the game. That's what matters. What's he like with you guys? Does he try to keep everything on a positive note, or does he overly stress some of the mistakes? How does he balance that? Um, I mean, look, like you said, he is balanced on it. You know, he, he wants to see the positive. You know, he sees the positive and the negatives, I mean, because – you know, obviously you got to see the negatives and correct them to get any better. Um, you know, somebody who's just talking about the positives, well, if you don't correct, you know, what went wrong, you know, you're not going to improve from the next week. So, obviously, you know, um, he points out both in, in our meeting first thing Monday. He goes through a recap of the game and, and, and points out where, you know, we got to get better. Ty, Coach O'Brien mentioned on your left. Coach O'Brien mentioned that the offensive line had a better game overall than some people may have led, led others to believe. How would you evaluate your guys' job as a unit, especially in regard to the rushing game, and what, what can you guys do to improve on that, creating more holes? Um, I think I think we played well. You know, um, we went back and watched the film, and you know, obviously there's some mistakes that you know we got we got to fix. You know, and. Um, but, I mean, as a whole, I think we actually played pretty well. You know, obviously, like I said, stats don't tell the whole story of how, you know, our unit plays. But, you know, we definitely do got to pick it up, and we got a lot of things to get better at to, to, to have, play a better game this week. So um, we're looking forward to that, and, you know, we're trying to make all the strides in practice this week to, to do that. One more. Ty, uh, what's your read on Eastern, Eastern Michigan? Do what? What's your read on Eastern Michigan? What do you see from them? They're, they're a good team, you know. Um, we watch them, and, and you know those guys play hard, and they're aggressive, and uh, they're a tough team. So I mean, you know, they're going to be a test for us. You know, we we got to really prepare and be ready to play this week. So, you know, but we're excited for the uh, challenge. Okay, thanks, Ty.